If you're looking for a display ad creator, then you are going to be in the right spot. In this video, I'm gonna be using adcreative.ai for display advertising creation. Not only can you do it very quickly, you can create a lot of them in only a few clicks, which I'm gonna show you how to do. In fact, if you'd like to follow along with me, I will leave my link down below. And if you click that, not only can you get a free trial for adcreative.ai, but you get some credits so they can actually download some of these banners. Let's begin. First step is all about uploading a specific brand. For this, I created a brand new one as I like doing a lot of various examples. It's called AI Botic. We're just gonna pretend that this is an AI software for like generating content, okay? I'm gonna do create a new project. And since we're gonna be going with display advertising, we're gonna skip these and go for something with display sizes. So we have like a leaderboard, large leaderboard, medium banner, half page, or wide skyscraper, depending on what you're looking for here, but I'm just gonna go with leaderboard. Okay, now that we have that. Product description, AI Botic, that's great. Let's just say like uh, bloggers, All right? They're looking for maybe one of the best uh, AI content creation tools that they can utilize. This is gonna be the example, that's who it's gonna be for. Let's click on save and continue. All right, and so far, this is what we have. What we wanna do is add our headline, our punchline, and our call to action. As I always say, you can always use text AI if you want in order to create it for you, but you probably know your product, offer, service, or business the best, or promotion, whatever it's going to be. So I recommend just doing it yourself. You're gonna get exactly what you're looking for. So 40 characters here, here, and 25 for the last one. Give me a moment. I'm gonna come back and just create this for you. All right, so never write a blog post again. I don't know about you, but if I was browsing around on a site and I was a blogger doing just hundreds or maybe thousands of articles and I saw that, that would certainly catch my eye. Then I said, our AI generates 100% of your blog post. Click here for more info. Pretty straight to the point, pretty simple, but let's go with it. We got like one more step to do. Save and continue. Here's gonna be our image for our background. Now you can upload it yourself. As with the example and using Ad Creative, I like just kind of searching through Let's see uh, what they have to offer. There's gonna be some free, some paid, and of course, there's always gonna be plenty of other websites should you need something else. Uh, like I say, uh, Pexels is one, Unsplash has some free stock images, and of course, if you have your own, you know, let's uh, go through here. So we are looking for something when it comes to, say, like writing. We could always use something like this. I think that'd be fine. Let's try this one. Of course, you can always switch it around. You're not gonna be having a ton here. Okay, does that make it look better or worse given the fact that it's kind of like where the call to action is? We could try that. Let's go with that. Like I said, if you don't like it, you can always go back and use a different one. Let's do create a post and let's just do AI and save and generate. Now give it a second and what it's gonna do is create a ton of these as it says right here, our AI is reading your data, best practices being applied, conversion rate optimization is applied and creatives are being generated. Last but not least, give it a few more seconds and then it can be all ready for you to see and download and just like that, there we have it. So. Pretty cool, huh? We have plenty of these, and as I always talk about, there is gonna be the conversion score here. It's just kind of hovering over that. It talks about the ones that they think are gonna be the best for you. And just because something says 100, and maybe if you go a little further down, one says 97, doesn't mean that you shouldn't test the other ones, okay? So we do have our logo here. Some of these could be a little bit darker, you know, based upon what we have in the background, but that's fine and kind of scrolling through, you're gonna to have to see which one you like, or if you know where you're gonna be displaying it. Obviously, this could show up much better if, say, the background was black. And that's why it's good that there are so many because you can obviously split test that. That's gonna be up to you. But as you can see, there's there's so many banners that you can use for all of your display advertising. It's really gonna be up to you. Usually I like going through and saying, I think I'd like this one a little bit better and better, or this one better. And it's funny because you never really know until you actually split test something. That's even like with thumbnails for YouTube. I always think one's gonna do better and then the other one just blows it away. So uh, plenty more as you go down. And like I said, I think these are 90 for a reason. They don't look as great, but once again, Maybe you like something like this, maybe you wanna test it out. And as you go up, they do seem to get a little better in terms of looks and preference, how they stick out in terms of like the text. You know, something like this I think looks great. I kinda of like that one, but but anyway, that's the quick walkthrough when it comes to this display ad creator called adcreative.ai. If you have any questions, you can feel free to leave a comment down below. And of course, if you wanna test them out, the link is in the description. If you click that, you get the free trial and you get some bonus credits. So what that means is you can actually go in and download a few of those to actually use yourself before deciding if you actually wanna use it further. That about does it. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.